Hello everybody. Welcome to this another video where we explore how you can run large language models or LLMs locally in your own machine. And this time I want to show you a tool called Olama, which is apparently the easiest way to run large language models in your Mac or Linux machines. Windows is coming soon according to the website, but at this point it's available for Mac OS and Linux. And once again, it is supposed to be the best and easiest way to run large language models in your machine. So that's what we'll be exploring. So let's get started. I'm here at the website. I'll be pasting the website in the description below. But the first thing I'll do is let's look at what the website says. It's a pretty minimal website, right? All it says is get up and running with large language models locally. That's what we want to do. And you can run models like Llama 2, Code Llama and other models. There's a bunch of models that you know we'll look at in a bit. In fact, the models uh, page is right here. Um, you know you can see Mistral. This is one of the up and coming open source models. Uh, Llama, Code Llama, Vicuna, Uncensored Llama. Um, you know, and there's also a medical uh, model which I'm very interested in, and I'm probably going to make a video about that at some point. So first step, I'm going to download this and I'm going to download for Mac OS. If you're on Linux, you can do the same thing and uh, follow the instruction here. But once again, I'm on Mac OS. I'm going to download. And there's a zip file that gets downloaded to your Mac machine. I'm going to unzip this to extract the application, Olama application. So let's open this. And you might get a warning like this. If it's the first time you're doing it, I'm going to click on open. Also move this to applications so that I can quickly uh, run this uh, application. All right. So at that point, I have Olama working, right? Let's follow the instruction next. And now it says install the command line. Now we'll be interacting with the Olama application uh, using the command line. So we need to install this. So I'll just click on install. Okay. And the next screen is says run your for, first model. And I'm going to copy this finish. Let's pull up the terminal. And you can see Olama is open here. So I'll just paste the command that the application showed me earlier, which is this, and enter. It's going to start downloading things by itself. Now remember, if you've seen my previous videos on running local LLMs, you had to go and download the model yourself and then put them in the model folder. So, you know, you had to do a bunch of wiring, right? You had to download the model. It's obviously going to take some effort and time and uh, you know, we will add some complexity to running local LLM. Now, this is supposed to be a one command solution. You install Olama and then run this command, which we just did. And it's supposed to get you up and running with the model right away. So let's wait for this to finish. Now, it's obviously going to take a while because you can see the size of the model is 3.8 gigs. So let me pause the video for a while and then we'll come back to it when the model is downloaded. All right, as you can see, the download is done and looks like it's a success. All right, so now we should be able to send a message. So I'm gonna say hi. And as you can see, uh, I'm talking to Llama 2 model at this point, right? Uh, are you an LLM? It's pretty fast. Um, I'm on a MacBook Air M2 with 16 gigs of RAM, but you know, this is pretty fast uh, as you can see. Give me a uh, Python script to K 
calculate. So let me just ask a simple Python question and see how it does. And it did give me some Python um, program. Let's see, you take the input of width and height and then area is calculated and then it's printed out. So, you know, it looks, looks correct. Okay, in fact, I pasted the the output into a file called test.py and let's see if that actually runs. So Python 3. And I am getting the right output. The rectangle, area of the rectangle is 12. So the model actually gave me a working code, which is very impressive, uh, you know, in the first try. Um, so yeah, you know, I can ask um, other questions. Who was the seventh president of the US. Okay, it's giving me something, but let's ask it something interesting, right? Um, how can I um, make a carrot cake? And it's giving me recipe for carrot cake, as you can see. So, you know, it's able to do things that you would expect a large language model to do. Uh, but what I'm really impressed is, you know, how smooth it is. You know, I'm um, seeing the output uh, rate and it's very impressive to be honest. Um, I'm very impressed by this. So the next thing for us to do is to uh, now exit. Actually, I need to say bye to exit. Now, Olama is supposed to be easy to work with, right? Which means we should be able to run any model really quickly. So why don't we try to run this new model and see, you know, how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to run a similar command like I did last time, but this time with the new model, which is Mistral. It's going to do the same thing, you know, start downloading. Uh, so I'm going to pause uh, as this downloads and come back to it. All right. So the Mistral model is now downloaded and I should be able to send some messages now. And I'm going to say hello. I'm going to say, are you Mistral AI? Okay, and as you can see, this is the Mistral AI model running. Um, so yeah, um, this is it. Now, really quickly, I just want to show you that if I wanted to go back to Llama 2 again, all I have to do is this. And since we already downloaded the model previously, I don't have to re-download the model all, you know, again and again, right? It's supposed to uh, load up really quickly the next time. So uh, now I can switch between uh, Llama 2 and Mistral, but then I can come to the model space and find any other models that I would want to uh, work with. Feel free to try any models that you would like. Uh, and my verdict about this tool, Olama tool, is that it is amazing. Definitely the best way to run local large language models or LLMs that I've tested so far. So I definitely want you to try this out and See what you think. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Feedback, thoughts, anything, put them in the comments. Um, any video requests, put them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.